am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. Well, you could just force me. Baby, I'm like, he, he always did. <laughs> Well, that's fucking terrifying. <laughs> yeah, no. I'll be right back. Fuck that. I'm not about that life at all right now. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Silent Hill. I've been wanting to return back to this game, but I have to be in a certain mood to play Silent Hill. <laughs> and I'm finally in that mood. So to set the stage for you, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. Against my better judgment, I'm playing with headphones on and also with the lights off. You may notice my audio quality sounds a bit better. This is the first Silent Hill 2 video I've recorded since I got my microphone, which also means I'll be able to record my audio separately. My gameplay audio will be completely separate from my voiceover audio, so I'll be able to edit out all those awkward noises that I couldn't in my previous videos. So, James went through the Silent Hill Historical Society. He went through Toluca Prison. He went through the morgue underneath the prison. But I thought the prison was destroyed when the Historical Society was built on top of it. So where the hell is he? We jumped down many holes to get here. We had to answer yes very many times when the game asks us, will you jump? Will you go down? <laughs> and we finally took a two minute long elevator ride to get to here. I'll be honest with you, one of the main reasons I put this game down for a good while is because I hate this fucking area. I hate it. Can't get through here because of the wire stretch across the path. Really, James? Really? Oh, whatever. This area is called the Labyrinth. It's fucking horrible and I hate it. And oh, check this out. There's no map. You draw it in as you get through it. Apparently. I guess James is just stopping to scribble notes on a piece of paper. I don't know which direction it's coming from. Yeah, this is the area I was thinking of. Oh god, the sounds. Okay, something's behind me. Come on! Oh, God. <laughs> Gonna have to get back used to the controls. So, this area is twofold. There's the upper hallway and the sewer. There's a very nasty surprise waiting for us in here somewhere. And I really don't even want to deal with it, to be honest with you. Do I have my rifle on, or is this my shotgun? No, this is my shotgun. Alright, I have plenty. I'm gonna save that hunting rifle. Yeah, I remember this. I had more shotgun shells than handgun bullets, even. Oh, 
What is it? What is it? Oh god, it's those things underneath. Oh shit, there he is. No, no, get out of here. No, 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 no. See what I mean by surprise? Motherfucker. That's right. Pyramid Head is just walking around here. He's just chilling. Oh fuck. Oh, this is circular. No, no. Am I gonna run into him again? Okay, so Pyramid Head is in there. I think I'm gonna try to go down. I'm surprised he didn't kill me in one hit. I think he might, if you have the game on uh, hard mode. So now where the hell am I? There's a fan. Oh! This is his. Massive weapon wielded by Pyramid Head. <laughs> so James actually calls him that, does he? This is Pyramid Head's little workshop. Uh, Lord only knows what he was doing here with those instruments. Oh God. Blood. I don't even want to be here. He's going to be pissed off that I took his knife. Did you notice that he was actually wielding a spear? Alright, fuck that area. Fuck it sideways. I believe there was a painting depicting Pyramid Head with a spear, or there was a description of a painting, a description of a god, I want to say, who was wielding a spear. I just want to get rid of that radio noise. I just feel compelled to whisper. All right. Fortunately, that's not it for the nasty surprises in this area. Hello. We're here already. The spinning head. Nothing here yet, but there will be. So what we do is we turn this head around and that changes the room. Oh. <laughs> See, it doesn't even show you what you're doing. This game is so sneaky. I honestly don't even remember what to do. Put on your red shoes 
Aha. All right, let's go. Oh, Maria's back. She's alive. You're alive! Maria, I thought that thing killed you. Are you hurt bad? Not at all, silly. Maria? That thing, it stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? What do you mean? It chased us to the elevator, and, and then... James, what are you talking about? Just before. Don't you remember? Here we go. James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? <laughs> it's really strange seeing this cutscene without the theme of Laura. You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. Why does she have Mary's memories? How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. Damn. So, you're Maria? I am. If you want me to be. Mm. All I want from you is an answer. It doesn't matter who I am. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. That's what I really don't like about the born from a wish. Don't you want to touch oh. me? I don't <laughs> know. Come and get me. I can't do anything through these bars. Okay. Stay right there. Oh my god, I'll James. I'll be there soon. So easily motivated by sex. Of course, that's his character. You can do stuff through those bars. You're just choosing not to. <laughs> so we have to find a way to get to Maria. Sound. Is there something in here? Oh, a wire cutter. My question is who the fuck put that there? Whatever it is, I'm just gonna run. I don't want to fuck with it. Okay, we're not too far. I'm gonna save though. I'm gonna risk. Oh, God, the camera angles. I'm already lost. Okay, straight down this hall and then south. To the... Ugh. Alright, I'm gonna cut this and then I'm gonna save. for cutting wires and electric cables. I'm sure James could have really cut that with a knife if he wanted to, but whatever. I guess it would have just taken forever. I hate that elevator. It just looks like it's gonna close on you. 
Yeah, we're not in the other world, but definitely nowhere nice. I remember the first time I played this game and I was so used to hearing that opening cutscene and the first time Maria said, I'm not your Mary, it was like, whoa. Because she doesn't ever say that. They cut that part out for the little opening. I don't like this music. I don't like these sounds. I don't like this music. I don't like anything about it. Sorry for the little bit of slowdown. It's the water. Am I back here? Oh, I'm on the other side. Like this. Did you hear that? It sounded like someone breathing. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to really use pyramid heads knife. Is there really nothing here? Alright, there's nothing here. Let's just keep going, shall we? I think I came from straight ahead. There's nothing here, I just wanna stop the fucking radio. I mean it ruins the game to just turn it off, but I just fucking hate it. Come on, where are you? Get it, James, get it, get it. Ugh. Ugh. Is it just me? I hope it's not lag. It seems like James takes a while to like to like ready his shotgun. Like look at that. He like does this whole like dramatic like stance. Like, dude, I guess I could walk around with it out if I really wanted to. I'm gonna be walking a lot anyway. Actually. No, I wasn't close enough. The homages to Jacob's Ladder are getting a little ridiculous, don't you think? Of course the ladder was just a metaphor. That wasn't fair, I didn't have a chance. about these shotguns is you're really not wasting ammo because fuck, dead end. really you're only using one shot of oh, the things bleeding in the water gross <sighs> shit 
Where the fuck am I even going? Oh, God, I hate this area. Oh, there's a ladder there. I don't think this is the one that I took already. Ooh. <laughs> no, that was a trap. <laughs> Damn. James, just in time. Shit, no! <laughs> fuck this area. I fucking love the shotgun in any video game. It's always the best. I hate guns in real life. I want nothing to do with fucking guns at all. I don't think it's really possible to miss anything in this area. The only like real like special bonus thing was the great knife, but honestly, I I don't really care. I don't want to explore this area that thoroughly. I don't need the extra bullets. Oh, we already threw this area? There's a newspaper on the ground. Staying with something that looks like blood is partially illegible. The body of a man later identified as Thomas Orozco Lumberjack. <laughs> um, was he a lumberjack or is that part of his name? <laughs> Age 39 was discovered in a something lying face down. The probable cause of death was multiple stab wounds to the front of the neck and the left side of the torso by a sharp-edged weapon. The estimated cause of death was somewhere, time of death was somewhere between 8 p.m. and 12.30 midnight. Front of the neck and left side of the torso. Due to signs of struggle in the room and the lack of a murder weapon, police are considering this a homicide and have opened a murder investigation. Furthermore, given the fact the crash, that the cash in the room was untouched and Mr. Roscoe, oh, I know that that's his last name. Sorry if that's a spoiler. Mr. Roscoe had a history of drunkenness and violence. The police suspect that the motive was not robbery, but a crime of passion. Hmm. Interesting. So the drunk was stabbed to death. Alright, fuck that labyrinth. There was another way I could have gone. I don't want to mess with it whatsoever. Papers. This one has today's date. That's kind of strange. <laughs> Newspapers are scattered, scattered all over the walls and floor. There seems to be nothing of interest. Oh, Daddy, please don't. oh God, that scared me. Daddy. Angela. She thinks that's her father. They look like monsters to you. Uh, the things on the wall. It's a tryptophobe's nightmare. Shit, it got me. Undulating, coming out of holes. Go, James, go. Go, 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 go. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh, it's dead. It's fused to a bed. It has a disgusting mouth. Are you okay? Angela, relax. Don't order me around! I'm not trying to order you. So what do you want then? Oh, I see. You're trying to be nice to me, right? I know what you're up to. It's always Angela. the same. You're only after one thing. No, that's not true at all. You don't have to lie. Go ahead and say it. 
but you could just force me. Oh my god. Beat me up like, you like her did. father did. Oh. You only care about yourself anyway. You disgusting pig. Angela. Don't touch me. I wonder if she even sees James there at all. You make me sick. You said your wife Mary was dead, right? Yes. She was ill. Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. Hmm. That's ridiculous. I never... Hmm. James, is that true? You can't even look at the body. This room is fucking disgusting. I want to get out of here. I don't know if you ever learn this in game, but Angela's last name is Orozco. So if it wasn't obvious already, her father was abusing her physically and sexually and one day she just had enough and stabbed him to death and now some version of him is here in Silent Hill tormenting her even more like she didn't already have enough hmm, the hangman puzzle Dead men, dead men, swinging in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Tongue turned blue and face gone gray. Watch them as they twist and sway. The first one killed the butcher man, then cooked him in the frying pan, served him to his hungry guests, and gave them seconds on request. The next one, with his smile and sweet, stole poor children off the streets. To men who dressed unsavory, he sold them into slavery. Breaking into a home at night, the thief, he had a nasty fright, filled his foolish head with ale, woke in the morn in the county jail. Hmm. The artist with his daunting skill tried his hand at painting bills, but caught in rain he was undone, when the ink he'd used did start to run. <laughs> really, why wouldn't you use waterproof ink? Like, people's, like, sweaty hands touching it would make it smear. With promises of great return, taking gold he did not earn, bundled up out of sight, quietly slipped off into the night. That's a Ponzi scheme. Three houses into ashes burned, the sheriff, with no place to turn, did spy a stranger to his town, locked him up and beat him down. Hmm. So it sounds like that guy probably didn't have anything to do with it. Dead men, dead men, swinging in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Six feet long and six men wide, round their necks the noose be tied. Hmm. What about this room? Hmm. Can't turn the handle unless you first remove the handcuffs. Well, I'm sure you could. It looks like you could maneuver it. Well, yeah. It looks like you have a little bit of leeway, though. I guess the peg keeps you from sliding it around the wheel. All right. Yeah, I actually was debating whether or not to go back down in that sewer and show you 
because a special friend shows up down there again, but I just, I hate that fucking area. I really didn't want to deal with it. The map says that there's another way to go down here. Oh. Okay, here they are. This is what I wanted to see. God, it's so creepy. I hate it. Okay. His face covered a piece of paper. There's something written on it. This man was hung for the crime of arson. Justice and revenge have been served. Hmm. If we recall from the poem, the arsonist kidnapping. Thievery. Notice that they're not actually hanging from anything. They're just floating. I don't even think their feet are touching the ground. So if we remember from the poem, it didn't sound like they actually captured an arsonist. The local sheriff just wanted somebody to pin it on, so he just picked some dude who was just passing through. And he was the innocent one. So in order to progress, we have to condemn the innocent man. Oh. Key of the persecuted. It was wrongly executed. This must have been some hick town. They didn't even give him a fair trial or anything. I'm actually going to save before we get any further. Yeah, this is the only area where Pyramid Head is just wandering around. He's not part of a cutscene or anything. He's in that knife area, and he's also down there in the sewer again. I wonder if you go back in here if he's still there. Yep. Those fucking things are still moving. Yeah, I think you don't need me to tell you what that's supposed to symbolize. Alright. I wonder how close we are to Maria. Oh, right. It doesn't ask if you want to use the key. You have to just use it. <laughs> this just reminded me of the scene in Jumanji where Robin Williams handcuffs David Allen Greer to his cop car and then throws the keys. And he's like, my handcuff keys! <laughs> I don't know why. Like, random stuff like that used to make me laugh, like in kids' movies. Like, weird line reads. When I was younger, just the way he said, my handcuff keys! <laughs> like, Alan! My handcuff keys! <laughs> I just loved it. Oh god, we're back down here. Motherfucker, did I speak too soon? I don't hear any music. Oh no, I don't want anything to do with that. What's this? It's locked. Okay, it looks like on the map this is the other side of Maria's cell. Who built this place like this? With fucking doors leading from the sewer. She is here. Maria? Oh. Oh. Maria? Someone else got to her first. Maria, no! What happened to Take you? Take a guess, man. Why? Why? 
Room 208, look. And notice the chair didn't look like some shitty prison chair, it looked like a decorative chair. Almost like the kind you'd see in a hotel room. Ugh. Her face looks like it's rotting, like she's been dead for a while. Or like maybe she has a skin disease? for me in this room. They won't even let you go back inside. James is forced. Oh, it's open now. <laughs> Thanks for that. Not to ruin the moment, but I just imagine Pyramid Ed coming down here and like unlocking the door and then shambling away. <laughs> hey, thanks pal. Uh, I, I won't tell that story. I don't- I really don't want to ruin the moment. Oh god, what's this now? An epitaph is inscribed here. This spellin drank one last bottle of veil before it was executed and laid here in his internal rest. This one isn't even here. Why are there bullets here? The name on the tombstone is too scratched up to read. Well, I'll take them. I want to read the rest before I save. The name is too scratched up to read. Is this is a big one. Oh, it's just a post. The name is too scratched up to read. Okay, traitor. Hmm, who's that? Kind of sounds like Mary. I don't think it's supposed to be though. Walter Sullivan. Hmm, it's the guy who murdered those kids. And then killed himself with a spoon in his... in his cell. So there are three graves here. Eddie Dombrowski. Angela Roscoe. Oh, that it does show her name. Yep. What's this last one? James Sunderland. But we're all still alive, right? looks different. <laughs> Will you go down? You know what? I fucking might as well. I ain't ever getting out of here. Oh. Now where are we? Oh, there's like mist on the floor. This reminds me, whoa, how am I dead? Eighty-three. You know, we'll see. I might choose to break out the rifle. is this? Eddie. Great, and he has a gun. What are you doing? What does it look like? You always busted my balls. You fat, just 
disgusting piece of shit. You make me sick. Fat ass, you're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. What kind of logic is that? And the corpse can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just yeah, like don't me. improve yourself or don't choose to not care about their opinions of you. Eddie, have you <laughs> gone nuts? James. I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. Hey, I didn't mean anything. <laughs> it's too don't fucking late. Bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James! How did he miss? Oh shit, he's actually firing at me. Fuck. Ah! Sorry, James like won't move if he's like halfway between like one of his little animations. It's actually, it looks like I'm just fucking around, but it's actually really hard to control James when he's like aiming his weapon. Ah, fuck. How did I not kill him? Seriously, what is this logic? Well, take your bullets. Let me guess, these guys were looking at you funny, just like that stupid dog. Oh well, no one ever said that Silent Hill was grounded in reality. Oh, it was just rumbling for the effect of it. I thought I was really hurt. Two boss fights in a row, huh? So Eddie also killed somebody. Do you know what it does to you, James? Either. When you're hated, picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look, after you've been laughed at your whole friggin' life. That's why I ran away after I killed the dog. Ran away like a scared What did the dog girl. do to you? Yeah, I killed that dog. Oh, it because he's fine. fucking psycho. Tried to chew its own guts up. Died all curled up in a ball. How fucking disgusting. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. <laughs> I think he's talking about either He's gonna have a hard time playing football on what's left of Think that like game. some think some guy okay was bullying him people? at school. You need help, man. I thought it was his father, but I think not. Get a holy on me, James. This town called mm. you too. So he knows. You are the same. We're not like other people. What do they have in common? Don't you know that? Let's party. I like the. Oh shit! How do you get so fast? Yeah, the meat is actually. It draws your aim away. But I like this. It's like rocky, but it's horrible and disgusting. Ah, fuck. I'm out of ammo already. Did he already reload? No, he was about to, and then I got shot. Normally, I like to try to keep my health low, but in this boss fight, I'm not fucking around. So I'll be honest, I really don't... Ah, fuck. Ah. I really don't remember the later part of this game very well. And I'm really fuzzy if there's a particular, like, strategy other than to get him out in the open. Really? Sorry, I was trying to pause. How can Eddie take that many bullets, like, from a hunting rifle? Well, I guess this isn't taking place in, like, reality. I don't even think this is happening right now. Well, maybe it is. Are you fucking serious? 
Damn, this guy's not fucking around. I see you over there, you fat piece of shit. Normally I wouldn't like judge someone for their way, but Eddie is a real piece of shit. He's horrible. He's just irredeemable. I have no sympathy for people who turn like their misery into aggression and hurt Eddie? other people. Oh shit, Eddie? James actually killed him. I I killed a a human being. A human being. Hmm. Seem pretty torn up about that, James. Take his gun and his wallet. Mary. Did you really die three years ago? Hmm. I and mean, James doesn't know what's real anymore. Did I accidentally turn off my flashlight or was it just not on during that cutscene? Okay. There's nothing left to do here. Let's get the fuck out of here. James is starting to wonder if he can even trust his own memories, his own recollection of what happened. Oh, it looked like there was something out there. What is it? Keep off. What does that say? Warning, keep off. It looks like we're suspended. We're just floating. Catacomb. Shipping dock. So maybe that was a meat processing plant in the real world. What does that say? Trespassers will be prosecuted. A light. What? What's that light? A boat. Oh, so we're gonna cross the lake to James and Mary's special place. The hotel. this point, James, what are you even expecting to find? There we go. That's where we need to be. Yeah, on hard difficulty, you actually have to row this thing by alternating the analog sticks. Mary, could you really be waiting there for me? in our special place. Are you taping again? Come on. <sighs> I don't know why, but I just love it here. It's so peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> 